could we end it like a Dragon Ball Z episode where it's like, stay tuned stay for tuned. next week's vlog yeah. because I really don't know if all the problems that I'm talking about or that I expressed are gonna happen or not. And uh, that makes me really worried, to be honest. And Yo, what is up world, Matty Beeps here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It is really good to see you guys. This week's vlog, guess what? I am not in my studio. I am here at my best friend AC's studio and it's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, maybe you've seen a few of his videos before, so this may or may not look familiar to you. But anyways, um, yeah, it's been a crazy week and I've been hanging out with AC a lot lately, which makes my heart really, really happy <laughs> because it's been a long time since we've been able to hang out in such capacity. So. What have we been doing? If you follow me on Instagram, you will know right away. We've been testing lights and it's just been a really awesome time to get a better understanding of lighting ratios, which if you're unfamiliar with lighting ratios, it's probably because you're my cousin or my aunt or my uncle and you're watching this, or maybe you just never put thought into it. And uh, one of these days, I will be releasing a video that talks about it. And in the near future, my friend AC, he will be releasing a video where we talk about lighting ratios as well. So stay tuned for that. And if you're excited for it, and if you have any other questions about cinematography or lighting ratios, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have some fun with that. So aside from hanging out with AC, what else have I been up to? Because as you're seeing my face, I haven't vlogged or like done a traditional vlog like how I used to normally do. But it's because I've been really busy at USC and I've been working on so many projects and helping out so many other people. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably been seeing what I've been up to. So yeah, if you're not following me, it's at Maddie Beeves. You'll find me there and yeah, you'll, you'll be caught up up to speed. Yeah, it's just been super busy and this weekend actually I'm getting ready to film a short film for a friend. She is in the directing techniques class at USC and um, yeah, it's, it's just been nuts being able to uh, pre vis all of the shots and just finally meeting up with her and the crew and getting ready for a really, really fun weekend. We're going to be filming Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we're going to be at Malibu. So I'll do my best to get you some footage. Honestly, I don't know that I'll get a lot because normally when I'm on set, it's just hard for me to vlog and film and uh, just kind of juggle everything. So I'll do my best, no promises, but yeah, stay tuned for that. Okay, so going into this weekend, the short film that I'm gonna be filming, there's a mountain of problems that I've been running into from like production problems. For example, um, I'm not gonna be able to go in and pre-light a particular scene a day before. So pre-lighting is just going in a day before and setting up the lights and setting up everything beforehand so that when the day comes that you're gonna film, you can move way faster. So I'm not able to do that on literally every single day, actually, of the shoot. So not being able to pre-light really just means we're gonna front end the morning whenever we show up. I'm gonna try to show up um, as early as I can to set up some lights. So that kind of just really snowball effects the entire day. So we're gonna do our best, me and my camera department team and grip department team, to get things set up as quick as we can. Um, and so that's just one of the problems that, I'm, that I've been running into and I'm really trying to figure out every single day. Your biggest fear going mm. into- uh, Okay, okay. Oh God, my biggest fear going into this weekend. Holy moly. Um, <laughs> I feel like if I speak about it, it's gonna happen. But if it does, at least I thought about it beforehand. <laughs> yeah, and I'm planning, and I'm gonna plan for it too. Uh, the biggest fear, oh my gosh. Um, my biggest fear, honestly, is is not having enough time. Time is always an issue um, with being on set because we only have 12 hours on a film set day, so not having enough time. And then also my fear of just like getting in my own head. Uh, and I think a lot of creators and um, filmmakers struggle with this and deal with this on a daily basis, especially when you're like on the day and you're filming, you're taking photos, you're painting, whatever it may be. Um, it's just trying to like, get out of your head and be confident with the decisions that you're making and the planning that you've done beforehand. Um, so I hope that everything that I've planned for going into Friday, Saturday, Sunday uh, really sticks with me and I remember it and I'm able to feel confident in the preparation that I've done, especially with the hours and hours and hours that uh, filmmakers and creators put into these things. So. Thanks to AC, uh, we've done a lot of practicing and understanding lighting ratios, which again, if you want to learn more, 
get subscribed or head over to AC's page and you'll learn a lot, like way more there than my little vlogs. So yeah, that's my biggest fears. <laughs> Could we end it like a Dragon Ball Z episode where it's like, stay tuned stay for tuned. next week's vlog because I really don't know if all the problems that I'm talking about or that I expressed are gonna happen or not. And uh, that makes me really worried to be honest. And um, yeah, so we'll see if we succeed. It's a really big script and it's a really big a uh, wonderful story that does have VFX elements as well. So hopefully I'm able to harness all of the planning and preparation um, that I, I've done in order to to do good and succeed on set. Jeez, things, things to be excited for. Uh, I'm really excited to play with toys on set, meaning like lights and like camera stuff. Uh, especially some of the things that AC is allowing me to use. It's gonna be really cool to see how uh, the tests that we've been doing, how they actually look within this film and how they can exist with this film and hopefully make my director excited about how it looks. Um, so there's that. And then also, there's always, this is really important, <laughs> is uh, I'm excited for the friendships that I'm gonna make, the relationships that I will create on set because if you've ever been on set, um, it's always so much fun when you can look over to your left and to your right and see someone else like struggling with you or having a really good time and we're all working on this project that we are invested in. So I'm super stoked to just like be the funny joking person that I am on set and that I am in real life and then also uh, be the diligent and hopefully uh, pragmatic, I don't even think I'm using the right word, it just sounded cool, um, person and, and, and uh, confident person that I am as well. So yeah, it should be fun to make new friends and hopefully you guys meet them too, I don't know. So yeah, it's gonna be an awesome, awesome weekend as you guys know, so you're aware of some of the dramas and some of the um, successes that could be lying ahead of me. So if you're excited to see how this product turned out, uh, which I hope that you are, because I really am, um, get subscribed, stay tuned, because as you know, every single Wednesday is a brand new vlog. And uh, yeah, hit that super jump. Wow, what did I say? Dude, <laughs> don't forget to do a super jump on that like button down below if you enjoyed this week's vlog. I'm Matt Abib, the cinematographer slash student, and we will see you in seven days where we will pick up where we left off going into the shoot. Okay, bye now. Perfect. All right. Oh, dude, let's go. Let's hey. go. Hell yeah. <clears throat> let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. Can we go? All right, audio. Who is. Do you run into the issue, AC, of like, what do, this happens to me all the time when I'm at a desk filming. Do I put my hands on the desk or am I underneath? On the desk all the time. Always? Always. Okay, always why? Huh? What's your reason? I feel stupid. Like, like, <laughs> I could never figure it out. Like, I don't. I just look dumb. I all right, know. I'm gonna do it too then. Yeah. Cool. I use. Hey, what's no, up? Put like a little kid yeah, or something. Right? Thank you for this. You. I should have asked you this years ago. <laughs> There's so many videos where I probably look like this. It's like yeah, a little I child. I don't, I don't